There we go. Hello, I'm Dr. Susan Langer. Where I'm interviewing Giovanni again, and we're in Southern California, <laughs> our Sundays with Giovanni library series. We're in Giovanni's library right now. And I just had a brief conversation with Giovanni about something that's always a fascination to practitioners, and it's the window of the sky points, and what I was trained to, be, to call window of the sky points, and a lot of practitioners do, but Giovanni just... Um, told us something very enlightening. What do you call them? I also did call the window of the yes. sky point for many years. And there's nothing wrong with it. Because in Chinese, the, word, the Chinese word is Tian. And Tian does mean sky. But you could also translate it as heaven. And in the context of Chinese medicine, it makes more sense as heaven. Because we use that word in many other contexts. And in the context of Chinese philosophy, the word Tian is full of meaning, a very important, very important word, which is go back, goes back to the Zhou dynasty, which uh, interestingly marked a change from Shanti. Shanti was basically God, it could With be translated God. as God. Okay. And I'm talking about 2000 BC. 2000 BC, Zhou Dynasty. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, the word Shanti, uh, there was the word Shanti, um, and Shan means upper, above, mm -hmm. uh, which basically was the God, what God, mm -hmm. basically. But interestingly, from around the Zhou Dynasty onwards, and the Zhou Dynasty is about, started from about 1000 BC, Shanti lost its anthropomorphic feature and it was more neutral and it became Tien. So God became heaven? <laughs> yes, yes. God okay. became heaven and is not so anthropomorphic as Shanti. So that was 2,000 years ago, God Th became heaven? Uh, 3,000 years Three ago. Th oh yeah, 3,000 years, yeah. 4,000 years yeah. ago. No, 1,000 BC, BC, so One it will be about 3,000. Okay, 3,000 years, years ago. ago. And, wow. and the word Tien yeah. is a major word in Chinese philosophy, in the Confucian okay. philosophy, mm -hmm. not so much the Taoist philosophy, but mostly the Confucian philosophy, for Tian. Uh, for example, even in politics, the, the, in Chinese, it's always been very important to have order under heaven. Tian yes. Xia Yo, order under heaven, is very important to them. When the dynasty um, is ethical, there is order on the heaven. So if there is disorder, it means that the dynasty is corrupt or has come to an end. There is disorder under heaven. And that applies even now, nowadays. In 1989, was it 89 when they suppressed the student rebellion? Tiananmen. In Tiananmen. Tiananmen. Was it 1989? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because to have disorder under heaven is very bad for the dynasty. And they, they don't want that. They can't have disorder under heaven. What does Tiananmen mean? Is that heavenly? Tiananmen, uh, is that Tian? Uh, tian, tian means heavenly. Yeah. An is peace. Mm -hmm. And Men is the door. So door of heavenly peace. In Tiananmen Square, there was disorder. Which, yes, disorder exactly. Under heaven, you can't literally. have disorder in Tiananmen. Oh it just gosh. shows you how important oh this word God. Tian is, even yes. now in communist China. But then, in the context of Chinese medicine, it is different. Tian also re refers to the upper part of the body and the head. Mm -hmm. The head was called the Tian Fu, for example, or the convergence of, of heaven. So, in the context of Chinese medicine, Tian also refers to the head. And it does in the case of the window of heaven points. Yes, so the window of heaven, we've got head is heaven. Yes. And, and the body is, is earth. earth. And these points are mostly around here, around the neck. The so they regulate the ascending and descending of chi to and from the body to the head. And they subdue rebellious chi, chi going up to the head. So that's why I changed the translation. No, uh, because the word heaven is more fits more in the context of Chinese medicine than, I love it. than the sky. Yes. Window of Heaven sounds much more magical and mystical and powerful 
and the body is earth, so it's you know very harmonizing. Although Tian is also sky in normal everyday language, Tian Qi is the weather. Okay. Tian Qi mm -hmm. is the weather. Tian Qi Pu Hao, or the weather is bad today. Yeah. Okay. It's Tian Qi Pu Hao. And it's exactly the same word. The same word. Yeah. The same character. Tian. Okay. So it's also sky, but heaven is a different, completely different context, different meaning. It gives it a greater importance. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. and then um, Triple Burner 16 is actually called. It's called Tian Huang, that Huang there, which is a window as well. Window. So does that mean that point is a particularly powerful point? If that's I think so, yes. I think it is. I, I used to use it a lot, more than the others. More than even mm -hmm. do sixteen, even than do sixteen, yes. Or um, bladder mm -hmm. ten. Okay. Yes. Then um, give me the before because I know this is just a very short clip. I promised you, but give me a couple of meanings of heaven, a couple of other meanings for Tian. You know. In Chinese medicine. Yes. Yes. Because you said it's so rich that. Oh, word. another very yeah. important meaning is in conjunction with earth, Tian Di, heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. Very important. So that today. whole axis, the heaven earth axis? Yes, the heaven and earth axis and how the heaven is something that is more uh, non-substantial, ethereal, mm -hmm. and earth is something more substantial, concrete. In fact, it, in the Ling Qing and the Ling Su Wen, Tian Ti occurs all the time, talks about heaven and earth, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And the earth, Tian, is an accumulation of Yang. And when yin accumulates, it produces the earth. Yeah. It's all the time, the duality of yin and yang, heaven and earth. Yeah. It's every chapter, <laughs> I would say every chapter of the Su Wen would have that yeah. reference to TNT, heaven and earth. Yeah. So when you call it heaven, these windows of heaven, <coughs> it really takes it. You've taken us all the way back <coughs> to God. So heaven yes. is akin to God. So, in our Western terminology, it's all connected. Yes. Yep. yes. It's not God, it's not God or Heaven. It's this amazing, extraordinary energy and these points. Well, in Chinese philosophies that. and religions, there is no God. Um, it's Tian. It's Tian. Which is not God. No. But it came from God. It came from, it changed. It changed. From it, it Shanti. Morphed. <laughs> yes. It morphed. Yes. Yes. It from became more um, from accessible. From Shanti to Tian. Yes. And Tian occurs in Confucius all the time, mm -hmm. the word Tian. Okay. Great. Well, I think this is extremely fascinating as always. Another pearl from Giovanni. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Susan. To be continued. MeridianHolisticHealth.com